In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the touch with Elytrum. With a trackpad or a magic trackpad, you activate the touch by holding down Ctrl and Command. As long as you're holding down these keys, the touch will recognize your gestures. There are also some options in the control panel that allow you to activate the touch differently, and even to have it activated automatically whenever you're using a supported application. With an iPad, equipped with our free companion application, the touchpad, there's no need to hold down Ctrl and Command. The touch is always ready. Here we are then in Lightroom. By default, the touch displays a reminder of the gestures available, although this display can be turned off if you prefer. Here, since we're not in the development module, we can see a reminder of the gestures that are available at all times. Many functions are assigned to simple swipes, for example this one for moving between images. We can also do a tap tap hold to access the touch's interactive functions, such as quick navigation, zoom, and image rating. All of these gestures have been chosen and implemented with great care to ensure that they quickly become very intuitive, are always available and don't require any configuration. But the magic really starts when you need to develop your image. Double tap with two fingers and the develop module will be selected. Now, with one finger you can correct the blacks. With two fingers, the shadows. With three fingers, the exposure. With four fingers, the highlights. And with five fingers, the whites. A double tap with three fingers allows us to access another set of functions, including the temperature with one finger and the vibrance with four fingers. Finally, the tools associated with the details panel can be accessed using a double tap with four fingers. I'm happy with this image, so I'll give it a rating by doing a tap tap hold with four fingers. Now we can move to the next image with a one fingered swipe to the right. To return to the library we can simply do a double tap with one finger. Note that once we're in the library this same gesture allows us to alternate between the image grid and the loop mode. You can find all these functions and many others all described with the help of a mini video in the touches control panel. All that's left now is for you to give it a try, learn it at your own speed and use the functions that are most suited to your workflow. Do you have the touch?